all right good morning guys so in this video we are going back to our sql sql top 50 questions so first we need to check where we reach so advanced string classes more than find flowers count biggest single number so that's all completed so what else left primary department for each employee consecutive numbers that's the one that we saw price at given day that's the one we need to solve so product price at, at a given date what is the solution to find the prices of all products on 2019-8-16 assume the price of all products before any change is done the prices of assume the price of all products before any change is done okay new price so if if there is no change So product ID two one three. So the initial price is done. So if you have only one row, you can say like twenty is the new price, ten is the old price. If you are going for one, you can see it changes frequently for the product ID one. It's changed into twenty changed into 30 it's changed into 35 there is no limited it will change there is no nothing like it will change only 10 it can't change in any value but it will start with the 10 so that's the only hint on this question so what exactly you need to find you need to find all the product id and the price on that particular date okay so basically it's it looks like an easy one but still let's see whether it's an easy one or a medium complexity or or anything right so solutions it's a complex one so what exactly we are going to do we will do the we will do with the with the with so here okay i guess we can go to the solution right now we don't need to spend too much time so there are a couple of solutions so we can use a subquery to find the price of last price change for each product before the given date and record it record it in p table so you are finding the last price change for each product before the given date so if if the date is 2019-8-16, you need to find the last price on before that particular date. So then you need to store it as a temporary, uh, yeah, with the, with table, then. So that part is easy, I guess. Then you have another select distinct product ID from product. Okay. So we can, we can start coding on that. So this one is a good question, I guess. So we can learn so many things from this. So here.
so probably I will not have any table with the products but I am not sure try to run this I mean trouble so draw table if exists drop table if exists products this has a query we need but not sure okay that's wrong so then run this that's also successful so we are fine so then with we need to use with ts select distinct product ID from products and what else you need you need another one that's the one we talk just before starting this question so uh, just before starting this watch space so where we will find the last place okay so i got all the product id in one in one one bit with the uh, curry and uh, the another one select product id and new price new price as price from the table the same table products and in where we need to add something so where we need to add select where there is product id and product id and change date that's the one we need here product id and change date in okay so product id and change in select product id maximum change date from where change date is equal to less than or is equal to this one okay so this part is clear so if you are if you are only selecting product id change id in and just say select query with the change date is less than or is equal to one you need only to take one value so you need to take the maximum change date so maximum change date so okay maximum change date so if you have five entries you need only to take the four uh, uh, fifth one you don't need to take the four you you can just because uh, you need only to get the change date on this one so you need to select the maximum one that's less than or is equal to the date that we are so whenever you, you, we are doing th this query you will get an understanding so let me copy that query i don't want to type the whole thing and then i discuss that thing so what exactly i am doing product id i need to get the change id so where product id and change date change date should be the maximum uh, and should be less than or is equal to this one and group by product id that's it and uh, so the p is i will get the new price and the product id 
and in this one t i will get to all the product id so that's fine then so we have everything right now so wh what is next so what is next means we have temporary things from there that's fine so so product id okay so product id if null price is equal to price or otherwise price as price price from from t left join p using product a okay so this is a straightforward so what actually i am doing uh, so until here everything clear we are temporary temporarily uh, storing product id in one with query and in the p1 we are storing the product id and new price if if there is something why we need two things because product id and new price may be empty for some ids so in that case to overcome that we are storing product id in one and in the next one what we are doing is we are taking that product id let's join with the the product id and new price and if null the price so the price is coming from the p so if the price is coming from the p uh, is null we are making it as 10 so everything is fine so this is basically lot of things to do but we can understand very easily that's the thing i guess so this is the beautified query or format beautified query so it's saying like it's the beautified query okay so let me run so one two three twenty thirty five fifty ton thirty five fifty ton so the order in any order so that's why so we are successfully executed that query in our workbench i know the time for our test environment okay that's a, that also accepted so one 18 milliseconds so we are very good on executing that query in number so solution to solution to write your own my sql query statement below new price change date select um, from the join okay that was a little bit com complicated it's using rank or something so we are not going to discuss about that one this one is fine so um thank you for watching have a nice day